Welcome to the southwestern coast of the Baja Peninsula, home to massive waves, beautiful beaches, and abundance of whales. No, like a lot of whales. Close to the shore, so close that if you were spearfishing, you could swim right next to them. Anyway, I'm Kevin and this is Taylor, and we've been hanging out right here in this spot with our baby boy for the last three days in anticipation for some big swell forecasted. And although the waves are absolutely firing and some of the biggest that I've ever surfed, I'm surprisingly going to be the only one entering the water. The waves are absolutely massive right now. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. All right, we are getting out there. I'm surprised no one's out yet, but it's gonna be fun. Waves are huge right now. Ah. Uh, kind of just in shock that I caught it, honestly. I didn't really do a single <laughs> turn. Oh, that adrenaline, baby. All right, trying to get some more. I uh, had the little, I don't know, I was just really surprised I caught it. And then when I got on, I was going so fast off the drop, it was really difficult to turn. So I was kind of just trying to survive on it, honestly. And still, the only one out right here. Again, I just, I don't know. Feels like I'm going so fast, I just can't do anything. I'm like just riding the line and gunning it, but whatever, still fun. I know I have this spot all to myself. Someone explain that to me. Last night there was like eight people out. Crazy. Waves were absolutely pumping. I was able to catch three, three and a half waves. Some of the biggest I've ever surfed. You were the only one out there, brave enough. Only one out there. Now it's time for a little post-surf breakfast of champions. Zucaritas. Zucaritas, they're better down here, I'm telling you. I don't know about that. Wow, I don't know. But it's starting to warm up. So we'll be moving north to Toto Santos today. Yep. Little buddy is uh, taking a nap right now, so we're taking advantage of the peace and quiet and just watching the surf. Packing up. Packing up. This place was a pigsty this morning. It's looking a little better. We've been here for three nights now, so <sighs> we're gonna head to Toto Santos. Daddy got his surf session, right? Want to go see the little town? Walk around in the oh, stroller. Yeah, you're excited. Our first stop today is to do some provisioning. We need to get water, fuel, and then we'll be making our way to Toto Santos.
So unfortunately, the aqua purificata place we're at has the longest line for the hose. There are five other rigs, I think, in front of us. So needless to say, we are just gonna fill up our jugs. That way we can get by for an extra day and then we will come back either here or go to another place on our way to our next destination and hopefully be able to fill up completely then because it takes us long enough to fill up our water when there's not rigs in front of us. This would take us probably at least an hour and a half. Nobody wants to sit here for an hour and a half. Right? You don't want to sit here for an hour and a half, do you? You ready? Ready. Daddy wants to go shopping? Oh, yeah. Get me as the leader here. That's not true. Well, it is safe to say there is a lot more going on in Toto Santos than there used to be even three years ago. But the town still has its quaint little beautiful shops and coffee shops and restaurants and it's still really, really cute. Rough morning. What do you think, bud? If you're in Toto Santos and you're looking for a great place to eat, this place behind me has always looked amazing to me. It's more westernized, Americanized, but it is absolutely stunning inside and the food looks really, really good. But it is on the pricier side, so we're probably gonna go with the fish taco stand across the street. Pricier? It is mucho expensive. You may as well be at Beverly Hills. All right, we just ordered. Kevin got a fish taco and a shrimp taco. I got two coconut shrimp tacos because they're the best, and I don't know why he got a shrimp and a fish. To compare against Guerra Negro. <laughs> um, but anyway, we also got a Michelada. 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 Um, but we got the original, not with the clamato. Kevin's feeding you. I'm over here, guys. Anywho, this is lime juice or lemon juice with a salt and tajime rim with Tecate Light. So good. I used to work at a bar for all those wondering how I know this great tip. Cheers. So, very salty rim. So, so good. Hi. Well, Sante Shalote was awesome. 22 bucks for four tacos and coconut shrimp tacos, which are more expensive, and two micheladas. So pretty good price, especially for Toto Santos. But it's cash only, so I had to run to the van and basically sweat my butt off to get my cash because the ATM has a long line because two out of the four ATMs are broken. Whatever. And but, this is just turning into a rant. All to say that the tacos were fantastic, but it's cash only, so make sure you bring some pesos. Other than this place behind me, there's one other really, really good restaurant here that I've heard is Jazz and Mingo's, which is like a farm to table, similar to Flora Farms. So I would definitely recommend checking out that as well. It's been on my list of places to go, but uh, I can't find anyone to bring me. Let's just clarify. Santo. Chaleto, whatever the fish taco place is, is a fabulous restaurant. Oh, it's great. Taylor's it's just great. talking about upscale restaurants. Okay? Yeah, yeah, like nicer food, like if you're not salad, something van other than Baja, like tacos. You'd go there. Yeah. If you're on like a vacation for a week and want to splurge multiple thousand dollars. No, it's not that expensive. Well, that place might be that expensive, but Jazz and Mingo's, I don't think it's that expensive. When we came here back in 2021, we ate at La Morena because they had Wi-Fi. So that is also a really good spot if you are looking for somewhere to eat that's a little more upscale than the fish taco place that we went. But like Kevin said, the fish taco place was amazing. This might still be my favorite area in Baja California, sir. Putting it out there, it's still really, really cute. There are a lot of great shops in Todos Santos, but we really came for the food and the drinks. So our second to last stop on this little Soto Santos tour is the brewery. It wasn't here when we were here in 21, so we didn't go, but it's here now, so we're gonna test it out. But are you excited? What did you order? This will be our first churros in all of Baja this time, and they look fantastic. Little Buddy is after them. <laughs> <laughs> but they look great. They come with chocolate and I want to say that this is ice cream with blueberries and 
I mean, I'm about to devour this. Real good. Here why. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take some more, Mom. <laughs> yummy. No hesitation. All right, so we just left the brewery. The beers were good. We had, we ordered a flight, but they only had three of the six beers available. So we got a wheat beer, which was, don't get it. A pina colada sour, great. And a pina colada IPA, we're not IPA people, but that was like, we needed one more, so we filled it with that. And that was pretty good. That was our second out of the three. The wheat was just, I don't know if it was the lines or what it was. It just, I don't, don't recommend. But we got the churros and the churros were hands down great. The crispiness was on point. The ice cream was delicious and it was topped with blueberries. And I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. I'm sorry. Are you off-roading with the stroller? I mean, I can't focus. But anyway, so if you're looking for good churros in Toto Santos, go to the brewery. <laughs> they are. Long story short, if you like IPAs, go to the brewery. If you don't, there's plenty of other places to go. One thing that's not so great about the restaurants here is they're not very baby friendly. So there's not changing stations, which could be a thing here in Mexico in total. We're not sure, because we've been cooped up in our van the whole trip. The little man's got a little, he needs a diaper change. And it's muy caliente, very hot. So uh, we don't want to have a blowout in the stroller and we are risking daddy's arm. But I think we're almost back to the van. So hopefully it's nice and chilly we can get this little boy change. Well, that's it for Toto Santos. If you saw last week's episode, then you know we're staying at a campground the night since we were running our air conditioner basically all day. But next week, we link up with an old friend from our first road trip and potentially find our next rig for the family.